Hi. These, I want to share with you this cute little mixed up fairy tale. And it's called Goldilocks for Dinner. And it's by Susan McElroy Montaneri. I think you'll recognize two of the characters that are in this story. One afternoon, as Goblin crossed Troll's Bridge, he heard the familiar grumble of his friend. Where are you off to? Troll rumbled, sticking his head out from below. To town for a cup of tea. Care to join me? Goblin asked. I'd love to, as long as we don't run into any wretched children. Goblin nodded in agreement. Children are gross and smelly like sugar and spice. Yuck, yeah, yeah. And they're rude. Goblin's eyes rolled back. So rude. That's the worst. Troll shook his head. That there is really no excuse for their rudeness. I have an idea. Goblin grinned. Let's find the rudest child of all and have it for dinner. Troll smiled his most fearsome toothy smile and thumped Goblin on the back. Brilliant, my good fellow. Simply brilliant. So the two started down the road, and they were looking for the rudest child they could find. They came to a tidy cottage. A little girl stood in front with her watering can. My, what lovely flowers, Troll said, stopping to admire them. They're Mary's, the little girl announced. Well, can you please tell Mary she has done an excellent job growing these silver bells, Goblin said. No, I don't think I will, the girl answered. Tell her yourself. Well, we'd be happy to, Troll replied, looking around. Go ahead, I'm Mary. The girl pointed a thumb to herself. Ah, then I suppose we already have, said Goblin. Goblin turned to his friend. She is quite rude, he whispered. Hmm, Troll whispered back. I would say she is more contrary than rude. If you say so, Goblin replied, tipping his hat to Mary, let's carry on. As they passed Simple Simon's bakery, Troll pointed, ah, see there, that boy has stuck his thumb in a pie and pulled out a plum. Oh, how rude. Well, that would depend on whether he had purchased the pie already, Goblin replied. And if so, it may just be disgusting. Another cottage door slammed and three bears came out waving their paws and talking loudly. What, what's going on, Goblin asked. She's in there sleeping, the biggest bear said. Who? Troll asked. We don't know, his wife said. We came home and found her curled up in our little one's bed. She just came in uninvited and let herself into your house, Goblin asked. That's not all, the big bear announced, shaking his head. The little bear sniffed. She ate our porridge and broke my chair. And she snores, the, wa the mother added. Goblin shook his head. Letting oneself into someone's home, eating their food, breaking their furniture, and snoring, Troll added. I believe we found our winner, Goblin declared. The girl poked her head out of the window. What do you mean, winner? What did I win? Troll turned to Goblin. Eavesdropping, too, he whispered. What did I win? The girl demanded, jumping out of the window. Goblin smiled, showing all of his 152 glittering teeth. You have won a very special, very surprising prize. Come to my cottage tonight at six and we will give it to you. He handed the girl a card. Here's the address and don't be late. Yes, it would be rude to be late, Troll sn 
stifle a giggle. I'll be there, the girl said, grabbing the card and running away. Troll and Goblin said goodbye to the bears and hurried off to make preparations. At Goblin's, Troll set the table while Goblin stirred a huge cauldron over the fire. When the girl arrived at 6.15, Goblin clapped his hands and Troll grinned as they both rushed to the door. Where's my prize? The girl demanded, standing at the door, tapping her foot. Goblin smiled. We declare you to be the rudest child of all. And to teach you a lesson, we've decided to have you for dinner and troll interrupted. Ah! The girl screamed a horrified scream, then turned and ran as far as she could and as fast as she could. Well, huh, that was rude, Trude observed. Well, what did you expect? Goblin agreed. We invited her over and made this wonderful meal just so we could teach her some table manners. Goblin shut the door. Huh, learning table manners, good table manners, is the key to proper behavior. So what shall we do now? asked Troll. Well, we shall sit down and enjoy our dinner, Goblin said. And I will remove her place setting, said Troll. And that is exactly what the two friends did. The end. I hope you enjoyed another mixed up fairy tale called Goldilocks for Dinner. <laughs>